Hey guys, it's Matt Higgins. First off, I wanted to apologize for not posting this video sooner. I've had three exams this week, but I'm done with exams for two more weeks, so I should have videos coming out more often. Alright, so with this video, I'm going to be kicking off a new series that goes over the canonical history of prequel era planets from pre-Phantom Menace to the sequel trilogy. Since Rogue One has been out for a while now, I figured it'd be best to start off with Mustafar. Mustafar is a volcanic planet originally introduced in Revenge of the Sith and plays an integral part in the Skywalker story. Mustafar did host some other significant events from the Clone Wars era to after the Battle of Yavin. Our earliest chronological appearance of Mustafar is in the Clone Wars TV show, where Mustafar hosted a facility that was being used to hold Force-sensitive children. In this plan, Darth Sidious utilized the help of bounty hunter Cad Bane to create a spy army comprised of Force-sensitive individuals. Towards the latter years of the Clone Wars, the planet was visited by Pre Vizsla, Maul, and Savage in order to attempt to recruit the Black Sun to join their criminal empire. Of course, Mustafar is most well known for being where the Separatist leaders were executed, the Clone Wars ended, and where Darth Vader learns the true meaning of suffering. The conquest of the planet by the Galactic Empire was swift following the Clone Wars. Imperial activities on the planet were kept highly secret. However, rumors did circulate. Most significant of these was that Darth Vader himself interrogated Jedi there and executed them after their usefulness ran out. Mustafar served as a dark side wellspring for the Emperor and Vader, who would meditate there harnessing its dark side energy. About four years before the Battle of Yavin, Tarkin's personal Star Destroyer, the Sovereign, crashed on Mustafar after the Grand Inquisitor fell into its power core. The Grand Inquisitor was killed by Jedi Kanan Jarrus during his attempted rescue. Shortly before the Battle of Yavin, Director Krennic is summoned to Vader's castle on Mustafar to brief him on the Death Star's chest on Jeddah City. Finally, after the Battle of Endor, Admiral Akbar sent scouts to several planets, including Mustafar, on a search for Wedge Antilles after he went missing during a mission to visit suspected Imperial planets. So that's about it guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more prequel related content including lore, discussions, as well as anything canon about the prequel trilogy. Thanks guys, and may the force be with you, always.